Hello everybody, this is Trina Gamer back for the first video of the Water Wash Out Tournament. And we got three, four exciting matches for you all to look forward to, so let's get on with them. Oh, right, we're ready for our first matchup. And oh, in this matchup, we see the Sukamimus take on the Isosaurus. And in the blue corner, we have the Sukamimus. No, red corner, sorry. <laughs> Moveset consisting of Shockwave, Atomic Bomb, and Tragic Sphere. Quite a good moveset indeed, but will it be enough to defeat the super defense type Isosaurus? Or Titanosaurus Golburti? Will it be consisting of a moveset of Hydro Cutter, a Lilian Cure, and Light Recovery? I think that's what it is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Made it like a recovery based moveset. But will it be enough to stop the Sukamimus? Oh yeah, for those of you that are new, moves will be randomly generated like that. 1 and 4 will be rock, 2 and 5 will be paper, 3 and 6 will be scissors. And it will stay that way unless I make a mistake. But that don't usually happen. Ooh. <laughs> the Hydro Cutter coming in there. Going to do a lot of damage. Oh, a lot of damage. And there's the pitiful light recovery. And the Isosaurus looking pretty good. But we do have a tie. The Sukamimus is going to have a hard time wearing this thing down. And he's not going to wear it down because the Isosaurus is going to get the critical hit that takes out the Sukamimus. But, for those of you that are new, this is a best of three, so the Sukamimus is not out yet. So, all the, all the Sukamimus needs to do is to win the next two matches and it'll go through. But if the Isosaurus wins this next one, he will be going through and the Sukamimus will be Sukin home. Right, let's do this. The Sukamimus needs to win this matchup, otherwise he'll be going home, as I said, as I just said. But the Isosaurus looked pretty strong in the first round, except for the two recovery moves, which are pretty trash in my opinion. But I didn't want to give it a too powerful move, because it did have Hydro Cutter, and uh, that's his crit. Ooh, a good start from the Sukamimus. Whoosh. But no shockwave. Um, yeah, I should also mention that there will be a new rule regarding room, like move breaking. So if a Sukamimus does get a shockwave off, and the Isosaurus loses its paper move, as an example, the Sukamimus will always go rock. Okay. <laughs> Look at that double reco double recovery, and the Isosaurus is fully healed. So yeah, say the paper move was gone from the Isosaurus, the Sukamimus would always go rock. I think that's a new rule I'm going to have for this tournament and for future tournaments. And it'll be a rule in my, main, in my main tournament coming soon. Because uh, having a... Have, breaking a move from your opponent, take one, taking away one of your opponent's moves should be an advantage to you, but... Using RNG, it really isn't. Ooh, a Super Minus gets off the atomic bomb. So yeah, that is going to be a new rule going forward. <laughs> like you would pick up an Isosaurus like that. Ah, speaking of the devil, here comes the shockwave so I can show you what I mean. Right, so the paper move from the Isosaurus is gone, which means that the Super Minus will, will go rock. And well, what? And well, the Isosaurus went rock, so it'd be a tie. And if the move hap if the number happens to come up here, that matches with the corresponding move that's gone, it'll just I'll just do it again. Anyway, I've completely ignored this match, and the Isosaurus 
has defeated the Sukumimus quite soundly. Looking good, Isosaurus. Sukumimus, not so much. And it's an early exit for the Suko Suko Croc thing. Right, let's move on to our next matchup. Right, and in this matchup, we see the Irritator taking on the Spinosaurus. And speaking of Irritator, here's our Irritator. Looking to irritate the competition with a moveset of Hydro Cutter, Aqua Javelin, and Naughty Curry and Rice. We've got to watch out for that Hydro Cutter, it could be deadly. And in the blue corner, we have a Spinosaurus. With a moveset consisting of Water Sword, Net Crusher, and Light Recovery. Expect Spinosaurus to do well in this tournament, but the winner of this match will face the Isosaurus in the next round. So it could be a tough one. Um, I expect the Spinosaurus mm, should win, but I think it'll be a close one. You know, don't underestimate Irritator. Ooh, the Spinosaurus gets off a neck crusher. Oosh! Not doing too much damage. But the Hydro Cutter has been triggered. Ooh, we, we have a tie. I think Spinosaurus, the one I'm using, is tie type, so... That will help the Spino ties. As it will do slightly more damage and take slightly less damage. But the Spinosaurus on top so far, the Irritator not looking good. Ooh, that could be crucial for the Irritator. I hope I've got this right. And I haven't. Okay, but we have an Aqua Javelin from the Irritator. Okay, it doesn't look like it got that move right, so... If the Irritator makes it through, I will change that scissors move. I thought it was right. I need to check my table again. Oh yeah, you can also see the compatibility of those food-based moves in one of my videos. I'll pin it up here. Anyway, back to the match. There's a tie. But the Irritator is hanging on a bit. Oh, and that's game over. The Spinosaurus gets off a water sword. And that will almost certainly kill the Irritator. And the crowd comes in with light recovery for the Lottles. But that is a win for the Spinosaurus. One more and he'll move on to face the Isosaurus. Right, let's move on to round two. Right, on the round two. Will the Irritator come back to equalise, or will the Spinosaurus take a comfortable win into the quarters? Yeah, into the quarterfinals. Oh, yeah, this kind of sucks. There's not too many Spinosaurs in this tournament. They're all like sauropods and such. I mean, before there's like four Spinosaurus, Baryonyx, Sukumimus, and Irritator. Of course, we do have Alpha Suko and Spino Dinotech and Spiny, so there are more. And that is a good start for the Spino. A Water Sword right off the bat. Whoa, big damage, big damage. But the Hydro Cutter has been triggered. But can the Irritator get it off? And he's not going for it for some reason. Ooh, big hit coming from the Irritator. Oh, not too much damage. <laughs> yeah, so I think as I said, I think Spinosaurus is going to win. I mean, it should, right? Look at the size of it. And yeah, Irritator's pretty screwed. Ooh. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. A Hydro Cutter from the Irritator could change everything here. Boosh. Oh, I didn't get the Aqua Javelin off. If an Aqua Javelin had activated there, it would have been game over for the Spino. But not yet. Another tie. Oh, it's such a close match. Irritator on the brink of elimination. But also on the brink of winning. 
Okay, we're calling that a tie because, as they, sh as they showed there, both of them will have died. So that is actually going to be declared as a draw. And that means we're going to have another matchup between these two. So it's still 1 0 to the Spino. The Irritator still needs to win twice to get through. So, yeah, let's get on with it. Alright, we're back. And can these two break the deadlock? Do you know, 128, around 130 matches in my big tournament in the summer. Not a single draw. My fire tournament had about five draws. This tournament has already seen one draw. Amazing, isn't it? Although, these are 1v1 matchups, so... The, the chance of a draw is much more like much more likely than it is in a 2v2 tag team scenario and in that situation you had a lot of dinos that could one shot so in here well we have Brontekins that can one shot spiny spinosaurus dino tech that can one shot and that's about it Ooh, that's a good start from the irritator the irritator on the brink of elimination last round managed to snatch a draw from the spino but it really needs to win Ooh, the Spinosaurus counter-attack in there. And a Crowlophosaurus coming in for the light recovery. I'm not healing too much, but it's not too bad. But the Hydro Cutter has been triggered. That round completely swung the momentum in the Irritator's favour last round. But will it do the same this time? Nope, and the Spinosaurus is going to get off a Water Sword. And that is damning for the Irritator. Whoa, look at that! Massive damage dealt. The Irritator has a mountain to climb. And he's not going to climb it. And the Spinosaurus comfortably defeats the Irritator and takes a 2 0 W into the quarterfinals to face Isosaurus. Well, that was a bit quick, wasn't it? But yeah, as I expected, I expected the Spino to win. Anyway. Let's move on to our next matchup. Alright, here we go. Our next matchup of this tournament sees the Patagosaurus squaring off against the Titanosaurus. And up first we have the Patagosaurus. With a moveset consisting of Water Sword, Aqua Whip, and Wall Smash. Quite an attack minded moveset here, but will it serve the Patagosaurus well? And in the blue corner, we see we have the Titanosaurus. With a cons move set consisting of... Uh, I forgot that rock move. Aqua Whip and Kamikaze Tackle. Gotta be wary of that Aqua Whip. Both of our combatants here have Aqua Whip. But which one will be doing the whip it? Ooh. Oh, that's it. Gally Rush. That's the one. Well, it doesn't really matter because I put... I put the names of each move in English in the videos anyway, so it doesn't matter. If I don't remember them, you'll read them. I'm sure you can all read. Ooh, that's a good start from the Titanosaurus. Um, well, the Patagosaurus does have a lot of attack-minded moves, so... It could have a favourable chance. It could have a decent chance, but... Ooh, there's a tie defense type effect from the Titanosaurus. And another hit coming in from Titanosaurus, leaving the Patagosaurus' HP in the red. And that's curtains for the Patagosaurus, and the Titanosaurus comfortably wins the first round. With a Kamikaze tackle. Oosh. I could be able to do that. But even, if, even if it ran, it would just completely destroy its neck. <laughs> Only in Dinosaur King. Yeah, I think I'm making that guy for Jurassic World Evolution. Don't know what dinosaur I use, but I'll just have to. You just have to wait and see. Right. Anyway, moving on to round. Two. All right, we're on to our second round matchup between these two. And, well, we know who the combatants are. We have the Patagosaurus. 
and a Titanosaurus. Um, well, the Patagosaurus didn't get a hit last round, so hmm, hopefully he'll get a hit this round and we'll be in for a much more even matchup. Oh, oh, hang on, I forgot to put the random number generator up. Whoopsie! Oh, that's more like it. We got our whoop the sword right off the bat from the Patagosaurus. Slice! Oh, lots of damage dealt. Decent amount of damage, I'd say. Not too much, but a decent amount. Yes, I... <laughs> this, just, just, just to hype you all up, this is going to be the last mini tournament I do before my big tournament next year. Just, just to hype you up. I mean, this one will be... F actually, no. This one will be finished before Christmas. And then there'll be a Christmas special tournament. It'll only be a really small one. But then the next so then the next tournament will be the big one. <laughs> anyway, oh the quick round wasn't it? The Patagosaurus getting off two water swords and dominate in round two. Which means it all comes down to this next matchup. Right, and I didn't forget the random number generator this time. And we have them. Well we know the combatant at this point, but yep, yeah, it's all gonna come down to this. The winner of this matchup will go will advance to the quarterfinals to face whoever wins the next matchup. Doom, doom, doom. Bang. Okay, that's a scissors. And that's a scissors. And we start off with a tie. Well, the Titanosaurus dominated the first round. The Patagosaurus dominated the first round. Who will dominate this round? Well, so far, no one. Oh, oh, never mind, the pack. The, the Titanosaurus got the first hit. Not too much damage dealt, but I suspect all of its power is wrapped in that critical move there. Ooh, the Patagosaurus does strike back with a wall smash. I'm gonna smash him into a cage. <laughs> Boosh! Yeah, right, that'd be like a broken neck. I'd say the Patagosaurus, the Titanosaurus, sorry, is just in the lead at the minute. But this wall smash is going to change that. And the Patagosaurus might have just stolen this round's momentum. But as long as the water sword doesn't activate, the Titanosaurus still has a decent chance. Oh my god, another wall smash! Three wall smashes in a row from the Patagosaurus has left the Titanosaurus on the brink of defeat. Oh, it might actually take it out. No, I didn't think it'd take it out. Ooh, the Patagosaurus is going for the kill. And he gets the kill. A well-timed water sword and three wall smashes in a row has finished off the Titanosaurus and I'd probably say, yeah, that's a surprise. That's a little bit of a surprise victory as the Patagosaurus comes from behind to defeat Titanosaurus and a book his place in the quarterfinals. Sega. Well, we're not done yet though, people, because we got one more match to show off. Alrighty then, here we go. Our next matchup sees the Kamarasaurus which is featured here in the red corner, take on the Alpha Sukamimus. This should be a good match. And in the blue corner, and for our move at the Kamarasaurus, we have the Shockwave, the Ocean Panic, and what is our move? Recovery. And in the, in the blue corner, we have the Alpha Sukamimus. With a move set of Dino Stuffer. Aqua Whip and uh, Banana Surprise, I think. I don't know, again, you can see the moves. You'll see the move set. You'll see the moves in English, so you'll know what they are. <laughs> anyway, who will win this matchup and face the Patagosaurus in the quarters? Ooh, ooh, that's an Ocean Planet from the Kamarasaurus. And it did deal more damage to the Suko than the Suko did to the Kamara in that time. So it was a good start from the Kamara Swords. Boosh. Not too many dinosaurs in this tournament are using Ocean Panic, so Kamara Swords is unique in that aspect. And 
like before, the Kamarasaurus's move will already be set as scissors. Okay, that's the rock, so I don't count. Ooh, he went for the paper. Hmm. I don't know, leave a comment down below if you if you if you like me to keep this rule. Or would you just like me to just keep it as it was before? Because I would like to know what you guys think. I mean, I personally think it's fair, because... Oh, another ocean planet! Anyway, I, I personally think it's fair, because... When you when you remove an opponent's move, that's like you having the advantage, so you should have the advantage. It shouldn't just be rng Well, two ocean planets, a well-set tie bomb, and the Kamarasaurus has taken the win. Wow, that's very impressive. Gotta give it dues. Very impressive. Anyway, let's move on to round two. Right, on to round two. And this one should be a good matchup. Oh, we're in the lava zone. <laughs> a disadvantaged field for these water dinosaurs. But they'll just have to pursue. Will we see something from the Alpha Sukumimus this round, or will the Kamarasaurus continue to dominate? Ooh, we will see something from the Sukumimus. We'll see an Alpha Dart. Doom, 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 boom. What, will it land on this time? Ooh, it's on the blee metal dish thing. Boosh! Not too much damage. But again, Alpha Dart doesn't take the crit move into account, so. It's good for. It's good. It's good. Alpha Dart is a good move to use on di on dinosaurs that have a high crit damage. Because if a dinosaur, like, like Tyrannosaurus, has a high crit damage, its other two moves are significantly weaker. So at something like Alpha Dart, where the damage is set, instead of actually based off your dinosaur's attack, is good is really good for T-Rex. Just giving you just giving you all some pointers before my big tournament. Because I want to see some actual I want to see I want to see some real I want to give you some real preparation for this. I want to see some really good setups. Of course, at the end of the day, it's all random number generated and strategy goes out the window, but it's good to have some form of strategy. Ooh, we got another Alpha Dart here, and this time it's the Chinese Buddha robot thing. And the Kamarasaurus not looking too good, as the Sukumimus looks set to make up for losing in the first round. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hang on, maybe not. Nope. But that tie bomb does go off. But that is curtains for Kamarasaurus, and as the Alpha Sukumimus evens the score. You know what that means? It's all going to come down to this next matchup. Alright, we're back for our third round matchup between these two. And it all comes down to this. That's it. And there's no better place to clash than the Coliseum. Yum. And this has been quite good. This has actually been more one of the more better matchups so far. Really back and forth. Suko doing well. Kamarasaurus doing well. We've got to see plenty of moves. And wow, that's a lot of damage. Hmm. Hang on, what type is this Kamarasaurus? Hang on, I should, I need to, I'll check that. I think it might be charge type. If that's the case, then yeah, it does more damage in the time. Ah, oh, that's not good for the Suko. A weak little doll will do little damage to the Kamarasaurus. But, the Sukumimus does get some poison off. Which is something he has struggled to do all match. Ooh, the Kamarasaurus gets off a crit, but the Dino Stuffer will deny him. Dino Stuffer could be a crucial move for Suko Alpha Suko in going forward in this tournament. Should it win this matchup anyway. Should it win it this matchup, of course. Oh wow, Sukumimus really on top here. Another hit on the Kamarasaurus. And it denied him the crit. 
Kamarasaurus needs to do something quick. Oh, and that's an Aqua Whip, and that is going to be game over for Kamarasaurus. That was a shame, I thought he did well in the first round. He put up a decent fight, but the Alpha Sukumai must prove too strong in the end. Oh, I quite like Kamarasaurus' moveset. We have the Tie Bomb, Ocean Panic combo, re remove the move so you get another tie. I quite like that. That's a shame. Anyway, that is Kamarasaurus eliminated. So, before we end this session, let's have a look. Let's have a look at our table. Right, that is how our table looks. So in the quarterfinal round, we will see the Isosaurus square off against Spinosaurus. And, and we will also see Patagosaurus facing off against Alpha Sukumimus. Um, this was quite an upset victory. I didn't expect the Patagosaurus to win, but like, this Titanosaurus is pretty good. It's pretty decent. But other than that, yeah, not too many surprises. I mean, a little disappointed the Kamarasaurus went out. I quite like this moveset, I mean. With the um, Ocean Panic, Tide Bomb combo. That could be that could be a combo people could use in the tour in my tournament. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna share lots of lots of little tips there and then about certain moveset combos, just to get your brains into gear, just for you to take into account. But anyway. This has been the Walter Washout Tournament. Well the start of it anyway. So stay tuned for these four matchups in the next video. And Mr. Stranger Gamer, signing out.